Hey, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. Here's an updated video on how to isolate vocals in music using Audacity. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. Thanks so much to Lady Kata who commented on my last video and let me know about this fantastic feature in Audacity to isolate vocals. You've got some music here and then you've got a bit of singing, but you just want to get that a cappella from the music. Your audio production hour starts now. Music Radio Creative.com. So first of all, select the area where you want to grab those a cappella vocals from, go into effect and then right down to voice reduction and isolation, where you can go into the action and select isolate vocals, isolate vocals. Let's preview that. Your audio production hour starts now. Music radio creates. Uh, it's not bad, but you can definitely still hear a little bit of music. So this is where fine tuning the strength setting will help. If I push that up from say one up to maybe 3.3, let's try. Your audio production hour starts now. Okay, now that's working a lot better. You're starting to hear a cappella only. There is definitely a degrade in the quality of those vocals, but at least there is a huge difference uh, between what we started out with and what we have now. You then may want to go through and tune the low cut for vocals vocals and the high cut for vocals, it may be that you want to push that low cut up a bit further so you get rid of some of the bass. So let's listen. So, but then you're losing quite a lot of mid range. So I'm going to move that down a little bit and maybe move the high cut up a bit so we get some more present vocals. Let's listen. Okay, and I'm going to apply that now and we'll listen to this is a cappella version now with the isolated vocals. And what you'll probably want to go in and do is go into effect and you want to amplify it a little bit. So let's just amplify these vocals up. Your audio production hour. There we go and apply that. So now you've got Your audio production hour starts now. And yes, you can still hear a little bit of the beat and the music, but it's done a really good job. The isolation of vocals there inside Audacity itself using pretty much the default settings. You could then go in and edit that a little bit further, do a bit of EQing to get rid of uh, any of the remaining instruments and so on. But this is a really good start with this. Your audio production hour. Compared to what we started with, if I just undo it. Your audio production hour. As you can see, Audacity has gone a long way to isolate those vocals. Let me know how you get on with this technique in the comments below. <laughs>